such a good fucking mood oh my god hey guys Annika welcome to my Chanika so today I woke up and the first thing that I saw was a DM from Yaz online and like Yaz has commented on like two of my videos ish but they were really only like the ones where I was like crying so I feel like she was just trying to be supportive so she's never really talked to me but she created a DM with me Haley and Rachel Haley Morales and Rachel Cantu and she's like we should do a collab and I was like oh my god I was just talking to Rachel and Haley about how we should do a collab but we need to get your attention and I was like screaming so so excited about that but also on Instagram yesterday I posted a picture of like me and I did like a galaxy on my face I wasn't really like that proud of it I thought that it was like cool but it, the blending wasn't the best but everybody wanted to twirl on it so I'm gonna try and like maybe correct my mistakes today and see how that goes really I just used the Morphe 35B palette and I also used a little bit of this palette for a transition shade blue uh, okay I don't even know what to talk about. I also just like ranted for like three minutes. I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna prime my eyes. I don't think I'm gonna do foundation. I did foundation in the other one but honestly it was just kind of pointless. Like I don't Maybe I will. I don't know. Should I? Uh, decision, decision. I don't know. Also, on my eye, I put the milk eye vinyl on it to, like, make my eyelid glossy. And, like, I get that glossy eyelids aren't supposed to be something that you wear throughout the day. And I was kind of wearing it throughout the day. It just kind of, like, transferred all over my eye. And I'm, like... I don't know, so I think I'm just gonna do like a matte blue look today. I'm gonna set my lid with this white shade in the 35B. I'm gonna do the eye look first, and then I'm gonna move on to like my face makeup. I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't turn out looking shitty. It will. I'm gonna take the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in the shade Electric. I've never really used this palette. I'm taking the matte blue, and I'm putting that in my crease, and it's gonna be my transition shade. Okay, I don't know what to talk about now. I'm gonna go into the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm gonna take this bright blue and I'm gonna pat this into my outer corner um, and kind of blend it in. I've been so uninspired recently. After watching uh, James Charles' collab with Nikki Tutorials and they like swapped makeup looks or whatever and she did the solar eclipse one that he did, I was just like inspired to do something really out of the box. And I was like, you know what? Like, why not just play around with putting shadows on my face? Because like that's what fucking makeup is for. Makeup is about fucking art. And I want to go back into making art rather than doing like everyday looks. You know, this darker blue shade, it almost looks black, but it's blue. And I'm going to put that like in my outer corner. And it's okay if it looks like kind of intense because we're kind of going to be like blending it out into the space. I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, I mean fucking primer, I'm, and I'm going to focus this just really around where I'm going to be putting the Galaxy because I fucking want to. I'm just going to put powder over this. I'm going to take the Cody Airspun Powder, but you can use whatever loose powder or pressed powder that you have. And I'm just going to set all of this down. Fuck, this is falling everywhere. Oh my gosh. And now, actually, should I conceal my under eye first? I should probably do that. Wait, I should should have done that before the powder. Let me just talk about how fucking warm it is. It is 55 degrees out. And I'm like, girl, I can finally start going out in shorts and shit. Have the window open in my room to get fresh air. And I'm gonna be setting the concealer with the Cody Airspun powder. Now, for the fun part, I guess. Kind of fun. Not fun to take off, though. I'm taking the 35B, and I'm just gonna take this shitty brush. I think I got it when I ordered a palette off of Poshmark. They just, like, gave this to me for free. And I'm gonna take that light blue shade that we used second. And it hurts me to do this, but just, like, kind of. I would say focus on it in splotches rather than trying to make it look more contoured. The mistake that I made last time was I kind of just, like, focused it in the contour shade. Because, to be honest, I was just expecting it to be all blue. But then I just Decided that I wanted to turn it into like a space. Oh my gosh. This, I look like a fucking snack. Full course motherfucking meal. You want to be me. Also, this look is so incredibly easy. You're going to be shook. I'm going to take the bright pink in that palette. Mix it with the blue, but also make sure that you get it. You know, by itself, she needs her time in the spotlight. Don't want to look like an avatar, okay? But you do also like want to follow the contours of your face just so that it looks like this is part of your skin. So I think I'm just going to take the other side of this brush, which is a little bit more angled and thin. And I'm going to draw, you know, a pretty defined line right there. And then I'm going to go in with this, but also mix it a little bit with the darker blue. I don't know why you guys wanted a tutorial on this so bad, because like, what the fuck? Why do you want to learn how to do this? When are you ever going to wear this, girl? I'm just going to mix a little bit of the pink in. I don't know. Because it's my fucking channel and I can do whatever the fuck I want. 
why. I'm kind of using it as blush, honestly. And then, this part's kind of scary, but it's kind of necessary. You're going to go in with the black in this palette. I'm going to go on the more defined side of this brush so I can just, like, you know, dab it. Dab it in specific places. Um, So I'm just going to do it wherever. Space isn't perfect, y'all, so that's why I chose space rather than, like, just a straight blue because space is a little bit more forgiving. It makes a little bit less sense. So if I just did a normal blue and I fucked up, then it would look like I fucked up. But this just kind of looks like... I don't give a fuck. That wasn't so hard. I should have fucking filled in my eyebrows first. I'm fucking dumb. Okay, I guess better late than never. Before we add the stars and shit, I'm going to highlight. I'm using the Becca Prismatic Amethyst Highlighter. I don't think they sell this anymore, so I'm like, I feel bad that I'm using it, but the thing is, I like never use this ever, so I'm just trying to seize the opportunity. Because it is really pretty. It's just like so unconventional. It's like purple with like a pink reflect. You can't even tell. And you can just kind of highlight everywhere. And then I'm going to take my NYX White Liquid Liner. I I know that a lot of people hate this because it cracks, but honestly, it's the only white liquid liner, so fucking suck it up. And honestly, just kind of bullshitting this, like just, I'm not even trying. And then I want to add some of these white dots as freckles, and I'm gonna go in with the blue Vivid Brights liner and the pink Vivid Brights liner, because that matches the shadows that we took. Wow, just like a casual daytime look every day. You know, you just want to throw on something, go to the grocery store. It's really easy for that. So you're welcome, ladies and moms on the go. I'm going to take this little shader brush and I'm going to get this blue, just, just the tip, just the tip. And I'm going to use that on my lower lash line, mostly because blue fucks up brushes. I don't really know. I feel like it just stains them. And this is a Claire's brush that I could not give less of a fuck about. So snack. Okay, so I'm going to take the Essence Purple Lash Princess. Liv Walters just did a video on like which lash princess is right for you. I haven't watched it yet. I don't even know if it's up yet. It probably will be by the time that you see this. Wow, I look so sexy. Okay. Um, but I think that like that was a really clever video idea. So go watch that if you don't really know. But this one is the best. Sorry, I feel like I'm not talking. I'm not gonna do like any contour or anything on this side of my face. This is just like a plain lame side. Since we want this to stay all day, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <sighs> and then I'm gonna take the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look lip gloss in the shade smile sparkle shine i love the applicator on this it's so like thick it does smell like kids makeup which i high key love this reminds me of like the first lip gloss that i ever had but if you guys want me to do more like out there looks more interesting looks let me know in the description and i'll hit you up gotta give the people what they want thank you guys so much for watching please comment subscribe suck my dick and keep on spacing i will wish you the best but you already have